All right, another week. It's done. We made it. Indoor football, baby. We've made it, and we to August. It's August. Wow, man. Never expected to get this far into the season like this. Um, let's talk about the NAL first, and then we'll talk about some other stuff. You know, um, first things first, the NAL playoffs are set, and, and you know, it's going to be real interesting. The top three were locked in going into the final week of the season yesterday, and things played out completely different from where, you know, it could have been. You know, we could have had three, two, and six teams, but instead we only get two. Um, unfortunately, Jersey lost their chance when they pretty much got blown out by Columbus, and Jacksonville lost their chance by losing by two points to the Albany Empire. Can't beat us! Can't beat us! Can't beat a team a second time. As talented as that Albany team, I'll tell you that much. So who is going? Well, it will be the Carolina Predators. Who beat the Orlando Predators? I mean, not the. Wow, did I say Carolina Predators? I meant Carolina Cobras. Wow. Yeah, the Cobras of Carolina beat the Predators of Orlando by a score of 51 43, and they will be going to the NAL playoffs. And so, the field is set. We know, we knew, you know, for the last couple weeks that Columbus would be taking on Orlando, but now, the Albany Empire will be taking on the Carolina Cobras in the first round of, you know, the NAL playoffs, the NAL semifinals, whatever you want to call it. Those will take place this week, August the 7th, and then the NAL championship game will take place on August the 14th. So there we go with that there. have a couple of things related to the IFL real quick. What a great couple of games we had at the end of last night. We had games going on until 1 in the morning. There was a power outage at the Spokane Shock Arena, you know, and Massachusetts almost blew a 20 plus point lead to the Shock, but yet the Pirates came in, won that game, and now, you know, the playoff pitcher is looking kind of fuzzled, you know, especially with that Tucson Naz game, which went to three overtimes. What a game that was there. I mean, just crazy stuff, man. Just crazy stuff. You know, Duke City, Arizona game was a little bit close. The um, the Bismarck Green Bay game was a little bit close. You know, Frisco gave me a heart attack again, you know. And it is what it is. With that IFL is looking kind of, you know, kind of good right now. They're kind of good. You know, we know it'll be eight teams in the playoffs, but apparently some people are still confused. You know, some people think they could get pushed back to six. So, um, you know, one of the owners of the Green Bay Blizzard were off in the indoor football forum on Facebook stating that, you know, hey, it's eight teams. So, you know, y'all can y'all stop the rumor that it's going to be six? Um, let's move on. CIF. We know now that the Colorado Stampede will be joining the CIF, and that was confirmed, you know, a couple days back, and they will have an announcement on August the 11th, and, you know, they're playing at an arena known for indoor football, and failing there is what I'm getting, gathering, you know, that's going to be interesting. You know, see, speaking of expansion also, there's talk of, it, of the NAL, you know, expanding to different cities. Now there's like Connecticut or Pittsburgh or New Hampshire or going back to Louisville, trying to make that work. You know, all sorts of different things with the NAL, trying to get that to work. There's also something completely new. Um... Let me check that real quick. Let me check. Let me double check what it is real quick. I forgot what it was called, but I believe it was called the Universal Arena League. 
yeah, yeah, the Universal Arena League. I don't know how legit this league will be, but it says that they will begin in 2022. Um, I don't know. Speaking of teams that are going to return, there's also, well, actually, there's also rumors from the Indoor Football Insiders 24-7 on Facebook. Um, that's where I got the Universal Arena League stuff from. There's also talks from them. They're stating that there could be a Texas-based Arena League, and we know how that worked out the last time. That basically turned into the CIF. You know, um, I don't know what this is going to comprise of. I don't know who's going to be in it, but let me theorize that I believe the San Antonio Gunslingers and the North Texas Bulls will probably be those two teams that are in there, or maybe a couple others. Who really knows at this point? You know, because there's not a lot of information that they all they all the indoor football insiders said just gave it a post. There's no like links or anything to that, so we don't know what in the world's going on there. And I do believe I have something else real quick. I believe it involves West Virginia. Yeah, let me let me check here. I do believe it involves West Virginia, so I believe the West Virginia Rough Riders will be coming back you know they'll be coming back to the NAL they said you know Greg Fenario we still don't know they believe Fenario is going to keep a hold of that team so you know you know hopefully they return to the NAL and actually play this year because they could have played this year they could have played and made it a little bit more interesting this year you know but it is what it is um, I'm not sure. I thought I thought we had already officially named the Billings Outlaws too, but I guess we didn't. They're they're officially the Billings Outlaws as far as the CIF goes. So yeah, the CIF is at 11. So that so they need one more team, and I believe they will get another team, unless you know the whole Oklahoma situation completely falls flat on its face. You know, and maybe Colorado doesn't even play. You never know because money in this sport is just kind of wishy-washy. So we do know that it'll be 11 teams in the CIF currently, at least currently. We don't know how how little that is going to. We don't know how that's going to dwindle a little bit or not. You know, especially with the whole Oklahoma situation. Um, you know because of workers' comp issues, but right now, CI is at a stable 11. You know, they'll need a 12 team, you know, because it's for some reason, it, smaller leagues just cannot function without, you know, an even number of teams, but it is what it is there. Um, yeah, playoffs are starting, and it's going to be very fun to see, you know, how this is going to go. I'm picking the Empire to win it all, you know, and I know, I know. Safe choice, safe choice. But I'm about always wrong with these things, you know. I was wrong with the CIF because the Omaha Beef won the CIF championship. I picked the Liberty to win it. But the Albany Empire, you know, they really proved themselves this year. You know, the NAL got really, really weak this year, you know. And, I mean, they just dominated, they just flat out dominated the NAL. I mean, they had all the talent there, you know, Jacksonville had the talent too, but I mean, they just didn't have enough, you know, to get the playoffs this year, I don't know what in the world happened to the Jersey flight, I think, you know, playing so much over those first few weeks hurt them a little bit, because they, they played like every week the first like six weeks, you know, there was other teams that would get buys before them, you know, Jacksonville had two buys, so I don't, I don't know how much that affected them at the start of the season, you know. But it is what it is. No, no Jacksonville Sharks in the playoffs. I think that is a little bit surprising to me. You know, I, I never expected you know the Sharks would miss the playoffs. I I'd say that Jersey was going to miss the playoffs, but I mean I just didn't expect. I didn't expect it from Jacksonville, man. I really didn't expect that. You know, Carolina was supposed to have a really really down year, but they got it together at the right time, especially you know this past weekend, you know, because, I mean, they were pretty much jumped. They were pretty much, they were pretty much gutted once Billy Back left, you know, so it is what it is there, and, um, the IFL situation, you know, 
it's going to be the same old, same old, I believe. It's going to be a good, it's going to be a bunch of good games this week as well for the IFL. And the playoffs, you know, are going to be good. IFL is going to be good. And hopefully, you know, some more information comes out, you know, this week. Um, one last thing, you know, talking about the AWFC, I believe they're still doing the top three in the playoffs. There is one, again, there is one guy that keeps track of the AWFC way more than I do. In the 50 yard shit posting Discord. Um, I don't have links to that. Go, go find those links or something like that, you know. Um, but yeah, that's gonna do it. Hope y'all enjoy y'all's Sunday. And, you know, we're gonna keep it rolling on this channel. We're gonna keep it rolling. You know, congrats to all the new subs. Thank you so much for subscribing, you know, in the past couple days. And I'll see you again soon with more content. Take care.